Hello guys, welcome to Lovely Twin 22, Vanessa here speaking and today we have another pick a card reading and this is the weekly what's going on with them commencing January 14 up to January 20, 2019 and each pass was arranged by Archangel Gabriel and the angels told me that it's gonna be an intense week for lovers or those people who are um, currently with their partner or in separation mode with your person um, could be not in dating mode but your crush or whatsoever so the angels advice for you guys was to remain positive in your connection and remember, if you keep on thinking negative things, then it might manifest as well. So please refrain from thinking negative things. And anyway, guys, um, for some of you, you will have reunion with your twin flame or higher level soulmate. And um, with your crush could be. And the angels say, if that is a scenario, then they are very happy for you and those people that will have the reunion are those people who are loyal to the connection because the angels told me that it is your reward from heaven since you have been following what is destined to happen in your um, lifetime and what you're being called to. The angels say if your person is not yet coming but you are loyal type, the angels say the separation needs to happen so that you and your person will um, be in your power because currently it's not yet the right time for you guys because the heaven is waiting for you to um, arrange your life the angels say before the union will happen and they want you to do your work which is your spiritual growth your healing process in the past and also if you have a divine purpose on earth you must do it as well and they are reminding you to do that because some of the light workers are not doing their job and if you're doing Make sure that you're preaching the right thing to your viewers, the angels say, because some light workers are failing to do that and they are very upset and they said that you need to be a good example to your viewers because if not, then what will happen? You will just encouraging people to do what you're doing and the angels say that they are very upset because a lot of people are failing with um, what they supposed to do in this lifetime so if you're um, somebody who's doing like this or you're preaching make sure what you are is what you preach okay or what the angels wants you to do wants you to preach you need to preach it at the same time you need to reflect on what they want to give you because if you're not doing it then the angels say how will the people believe you if you yourself is not like that if you're not fixing yourself spiritual growth um, is something to do with your addictions and clearing anything that is negative in your life okay and they say you need to move on from any hurt or pain and accept what the universe wants you to do. Because if you're denying it, what will happen is never-ending tower moments in your life. And in your next lifetime, you will again try your best to heal. It's never-ending. So if you're running away from what the destiny wants you to do, then expect expect that there's a lot of things that you need to learn still okay and is there anything else angels the angels say that um if you receive bad karmas punishment from above it is because um you don't need to blame and blame and blame the heavens or god himself 
because you need to realize something and you need to focus on why you're here in this world and not to focus on self-indulging too much and not to focus on your ego and also evil spirits that's roaming around they say that there's a lot of people out there that is influencing people not to do their task on earth and those people will be punished so badly in their next lifetime so please stop it stop manipulating people and giving them bad advices okay and if you're a light worker be somebody who is um, what the angels wants to form to other people as well. Don't be a bad influence, the angels say. Okay, be you on what you preach. And make sure it's something right. Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys. It's my brother. Okay, and anyway, um, the angels say that if... Um, you find this channel like somebody different from others it is because um, they really want to talk to you guys to reach out in terms of your career and your love life and you have advices here that's why videos could take very long time and also they want to tell you a lot of things for the intro the angels say that for now you need to focus on your healing work while you guys are in separation if union is not yet happening it is because there's a lot of things for you to learn in this world before it will happen or you need to do your job as light workers or um you have divine purpose on earth and you didn't discover it yet the angels say that someday i will make a video about your divine purpose right now is not a perfect time for me it is because the angels say they still wanting me to purchase some cards um really it's hard to have cards here in the philippines because sometimes um the cards are not available and i have to wait and you know I waited a very long time for the Romance Angels cards to arrive and it, it takes me about how many months <laughs> okay that's why even though I have a mission work on earth I waited for that and you see in my um, description or in my about status that it was July actually when I formed um, the channel but it took a while to make it <laughs> okay to make the videos and anyway is there anything else angels they said no more okay so now let me proceed by saying my thanks to my viewers con who continue on to um view my channel and also i'm thankful for the donations and for those book readings i do appreciate it too for continue on trusting me with your readings and thank you once again for those um people who continue on supporting my channel and they say that um they appreciate those people who listens to the advices because some people reject it the angels say it is very important because they are here to provide guidance for you and it may prolong the video but it is a worth a watch the angels say because they want to provide you guidance they want you to provide you the love of god through me okay because they want to give you advice in your love life or career and whatsoever they are just here for you continue on trusting god they say continue on to love your person because it is very important to forgive and learn from any mistakes that they have committed to you and stay strong and positive be loving energy of god is there anything else they say they love you so much okay and i love you too guys thank you for 
being here. So is there anything else? Okay, they say proceed now with the cards. So I'll introduce to you the cards that I'll be using for this reading. And anyway, forgot to mention about the pile. Sorry. So pile 1 is the Angel of Courage. Pile 2, Angel of Transformation. Pile 3, Angel of Happiness. And pile 4 is the Angel of Success. And they say choose wisely. You know, don't base your ego with those cards. So let's proceed now with the cards that I'll be using for this reading. Okay guys, so for the tarot cards that I'll be using, I'll use the Akashic Tarot deck. And anyway guys, I'm using my intuition with this readings. Okay, I don't base it with my, the books. Okay, because there's more than to that and I'm sensing each time I hold a card and I'll share to you what it is and also I base it on what the angels will tell me. So anyway guys, uh, for clarification, I'll be using the classic tarot deck and for the pals, for the options, we pull cards from the Angel Tarot with the help of Archangel Gabriel. He's the one who arranged the piles for us. And also, for the overall theme, we pulled cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. And if we are required for more um, details, I will pull cards from the Everyday Tarot and it will be clarified by the Mystic Fairy Tarot deck. And then for um, the energy of your person, energy check, we'll pull cards from the Romance Angels and also I'll be using this for the advices as well. And then for the messages of your person, we pull cards from my personal deck and also it will be clarified by the Illuminated Tarot. So for the advices from the angels, we'll pull cards from the Angel Answers Oracle deck. The universe has your back. And also since it's Saint Gabriel who arranged the past for us, we'll pull cards from the Archangel um, Gabriel Oracle cards. Um, sorry. Now, the angels say relax and focus on your work and your healing work and everything will turn out well for this week. And congratulations for those who will have their reunion with their twin or with your crush or with your partner. And they're very grateful and it's your reward for being loyal and to following from following your guides and your angels and God himself, continue on being faithful and they love you guys. Is there anything else? Okay, now pause the video if you're not yet ready guys. I'll proceed now with pal number one. Hello guys, for those who chose spell number 1, the strength card which is the Angel of Courage, here is your reading. The angels say you don't have to worry about your person. Your person is focusing on his work or her work, her career or his career. Take what resonates, okay? And then this is your overall theme. This is a never-ending story. Now, I'm sensing like your person person definitely has trouble with their life right now and it could be family matters career and i'm not sensing any love life problem but they just need to focus on their work um they need to fix their life first before coming towards you you guys could be in separation mode right now that's why you're here you're asking what's going on with your person and the angels say just relax focus on your work as well so let's do an energy check about your person pal number one so angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know um, how does the person of pal number one see about the connection and how does they feel about those who chose pal number one? So let's see. So you have let your friends help you. 
what else? Bellissure X. Both upright and reverse according to the angels. So what else? By the way, it's Archangel Gabriel who arranged the cards or the piles for us. Attraction. And also wedding. Should I need to pull more? Okay, they said yes. So we'll pull more cards, getting to know each other. I'm sensing this heart to heart conversation. Should I need to pull more cards? They said no. Okay, so they still want. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. So you have make the effort. Should I need to pull more? Yes or no? I'm confused. <laughs> okay, sorry, there's a lot of angels here. So you have calling in your soulmate. In upright or reverse for calling in your soulmate. Should I need to pull more? Okay, no. Majority is no, so we'll take it no. Now, let's see what's going on with your person, pile number one. So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know what's going on with the person of pile number one. Commencing January 14 up to January 20, 2019, the angels say you don't have to worry so much. The more you worry, the more that it might happen because it's what you're manifesting avoid negative thinking they say so let's see what's going on so you have up in the air what else what else please angels um and guides what else please seems <laughs> they don't want to tell you. So you have three of horses, the bird's nest, the queen of scrolls, in upright according to them, and also the Buddha prepares in upright position. So overall energy that's affecting your reading is the spring. In reverse or upright according to them. So what is the outcome? For this, you have the Vicious Fulfilled card. Um, they say they have been working very hard and then finally what they want will come true. And I'm sensing this card as well, Loving Elementals. In a or Reverse for this card according to them. Should I need to pull more? They said no. What? Yes or no? No need. Uh, they're just playing tricks. I'm sorry. So let's clarify the cards presented here. So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know what's going on with the person of pile number one commencing January 14 up to January 20, 2019. The angels say no need to cry, okay? Don't cry for your person. They love you so much. And they're willing to come back if time is right. Right now, it's not really a good timing for them. Especially, they have troubles right now with their finances and career, they say. And some of them still dealing with their ex, but they don't really love their ex. The angels say, or they don't love the third party. They told me. So, um, let's see. Up in the air, clarify up in the air please clarify so you got the seven of ones upright position they told me ten of ones page of cups three of horses the bird's nest clarify you got the queen of cups the queen of scrolls please clarify so you have the king of swords um the buddha prepares so you got the eight of swords in upright they told me the judgment card page of pentacles upright or reverse they say the four of forces you got the three of ones in upright position 
Okay, Ardivers, they say. And then Six of Swords. Both of Pride and Rivers, according to the angels. Five of Keys. Five of Keys, clarify. You got the Page of Swords. And Six of Wands. Three of Roses, clarify. So you got the Hangman in Upright or Reverse, according to the Angels, Four of Swords. Upright, they told me, and then the Five of Pentacles in Reverse, they say. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your person, pal number one. So, um, what you have as an energy that's um, affecting the whole reading is a four of forces. Now, this could be spring or autumn. Why is it like that? The angels say, your person is dealing with a loss and they are wanting this spring instead of the autumn. Now, we know all about autumn, like it's nearer to winter, like the leaves are falling and I'm sensing all is loss and they want to move away from that energy. They want to come back to you if um, everything will turn out well. And I'm sensing like some of them are still stuck in the situation of the autumn. And they're still waiting for the ships to come in. And some of them are not having a good luck with work or career finances even. That's why this could either be in reverse or upright. But the upright position of this is what I'm sensing they're trying to get back to this and to you as well, the angels say. But um, it's not yet enough. It's not yet ready. Um, they really want to be with you, but right now they're having troubles with their career, money matters, and some of them had a fight with their wife, if third party situation, or with you even, if you fight about money. So that's what's going on with their energy. And the first card that we have here is up in the air. So... They are dreaming. I'm sensing about you. Um, this could be your twin, if that is the case scenario. That kind of strong magnetic attraction between you guys. And some of them are in a relationship with someone else, but they are looking at you. That could be the case. And the angels say that you need to relax. Even if your person has a third party or somebody that is their karmic um they are burdening about it as you can see here they are fighting their karmic or they are trying their best to heal i'm sensing heal from anything to do with the ex if you're the ex watching this they're trying to heal from you and if that's not the case scenario, the angels say that they are wanting to reach out to you. But it's not that simple because they are carrying a lot of burdens right now, a lot of responsibilities. And some of them are fighting for their career, for their right, anything conflict. Okay, they're trying to stand strong. And someday if they don't have this they will come forward to you and offer them and offer you something but right now is not a perfect time if they will come to you perhaps they will just offer you a small offer of friendship or just a small message in the messenger or any in social media the angels say and the next card is this the three of forces um, which is the bird's nest, clarified by this. The angels say that your person is in love with you. The problem is that they are dealing with, some of them has family issues or they are married with someone else, I'm sensing, and they are busy nurturing their kids, their family, and it could only resonate if the person is married with someone else, but they say that they have loved you. 
but currently right now it's not a perfect time since they have a family they're focused on that for this week so the next is the queen of scrolls together with king of swords so i'm sensing like um you guys are putting your guard up it is because some of them has money issues some of them has blockages like there's a third party involved here or finances that is your blockage and i'm sensing like you are guarded too because some of you guys are angry with your person for not messaging you back or um they left you cold but the angels say that you need to relax because some of them are just busy with their finances with their career trying to reach their dreams their goals that's what we have here and the situation is not really good for communicating or even union okay and please release any barriers the angels say is not healthy the angels say if you're dealing with a woman they are putting their guard up it is because they're not yet ready and some of them are upset about this connection i'm sensing it and some of them really is crying at night thinking like they don't deserve you that's what i'm getting because their life is not really good I'm sensing like this person don't want anyone else in their life right now. If you come, they will cut you off. So please be careful. Don't reach out yet. Okay? And Buddha prepares together with this. So what we have here is that I told you guys that this person is busy with their fixing their life actually because they have been stuck. In this situation like their luck is not on their side and the angels say someday um, they will receive the guidance or they will come out of this situation all they need to do is to be like Buddha meditate or listen to their guides and then if they have trouble with their career then they will have a new opportunity because right now it's in reverse because this could be upright or reverse. Like they're losing money um, or they losing hope about this connection. Everything don't turn out well. So the angels say you don't have to worry if your person just focus on listening to the angels, to God himself, then everything will turn out well. And anyways, this is um, the outcome. So you have two outcomes for this reading. Just take what resonates, okay? If it didn't happen within this week, probably in the near future, it might happen to them. So the first outcome is wishes fulfilled. And the angels say this is for those person who's having a hard time with their career. Now, their wishes will be fulfilled because of their hard work. And the angels say, once they have everything together, they will start to communicate with you. They will come to you and tell you about what happened to them, why they didn't speak out to you. Because they say that they're trying their best to do well with their career, with their finances, and they want to be successful someday with you. Is That's what I heard. And then the next card is this one, Loving Elementals, either reverse or upright position. Now, the angels say that you have to relax because if you are relaxed, you will receive this. Okay, you will have your person back. And the angels wants you to be um, the hangman like this. And this outcome I'm sensing is based on you. Because if you're a negative thinker, you can turn things around like this. Like you cannot sense the love there. And you will contemplate on wrong things. Like you will blame this person like he or she left you out of the cold whatsoever. When honestly, they are just um, focusing on their life right now and everything will turn out well if you guys will just love your person 
Okay, and also another case scenario is if they have kids, the angels say they will focus on their kids for this week. But the angels say they are contemplating about you while having their kids. As you can see here, because they know to themselves that they didn't message you or anything. And they say that um, this person is lovable to their kids and family even. So, if that person has greater love for that family, um, what you can do now is just focus on your work. Okay, and that is only for a few. How many percentage is that? They said 2% only. If you know to yourself that this person loves his or her family so much, it will resonate to you. But if not, if not about the case scenario. Yes, some of them love their kids, but some of them don't really like the connection with their karmic. Um, some of them wants to be with you, but they want to take the kids with you guys if you end up being together someday now let me discuss to you about the energy check with regards to your person of what we have here all right so that's a lot of cards so you got heart to heart conversation so they know to themselves that they need to talk to you that's how I feel with this card. And they're sensing like they left you out of the cold. That's why they are like this. Um, maybe this could be your past. Like this person didn't talk to you. He or she rejected you and you're the one who's coming forward. Now they know to themselves they need to talk to you. But right now it's not a perfect time because as you can see they have problems with their career, with their life. Or any conflicts will do. And even if that's the case scenario, the angels say, This person is watching over you in social media. He or she is getting to know you better by those things. And if you guys block this person, what's going on is that they're asking your friends about you. That's what I get with this feeling. And then the next card is this, calling in your soulmate. So the angels say this could only resonate for those people who are in third party situation. And they want to marry you someday. They want to talk to you. They want to summon you. Um, they know deep inside that they love you. But the problem is that since they are still connected with their ex or with their karmic they're still like this like they can't talk to you right now they are having troubles with their life i hope you understand them the angels say and they know since they have been rejecting you they need to make an effort to come but there is a wall there's blockages right now that's why they can't make an effort that's what they see and if they are with their karmic they are holding back their emotions with the karmic and they don't really like it but if they love their wife as you can see here only for two percent their wife or husband they will stay in the in that connection because of the love for the kids that could be the case but that basically with their partner but they're thinking about it if they love you so some of them are still loving you from afar they feel attracted to you and with you everything is fine everything is calm but the blockage could be their ex or their karmic and they know to themselves they have to release just to be with you and some of them if you are the ex watching this um you're somebody whom they don't really like um this could be in reverse like they need to release you they say it's only for a few i'm sensing if you know to them to yourself like um they're married and they love their kids their wife even or husband this could be your case like this person will let you go because of it and when it turns to this connection the angels say they love you a lot but 
they need help for their finances and career right now. And I'm sensing like they're asking their friends, their family members even how to reach out to you um, when they have everything together back again. And this is so intense feeling like I feel the love um, holding this card and they're asking their friends if only I can reach to you. They love you, they say. Okay, so the next card that you have here, this is the overall theme, by the way. And this is Never Ending Story. Now, your person is like this, like... Right now, they have trouble with their finances and career and everything is not going well, but they love you and they can't reach out to you yet unless they fix their life. And the angels requires you to have that strength and courage. Um, the angels say that you have to relax a bit. Don't put pressure on your person. Like, what's the angel doing here? Like, holding the lion now if you're losing your hope with this person the angel say it's really up to you but they are just here guiding you to say that you need to have that strength because this person is trying to fix their life for you so that they can come again to you once they are prepared and ready so let's see what are the messages of your person for you pal number one Okay, so your messages is you lessen the distance. Is there any way I can stay? Your name or sound in my head. You ain't faking. And also you are the road that leads me home. Well, everything is positive, honestly speaking. And the angel's advice is to clarify everything for you guys. So... Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know what is behind the messages of pal number one. I mean, pal number one's person for those who chose pal number one. You lessen the distance, clarify. So you got zero, the full card, and also six of spades. Is there any way I can stay? You got the queen of diamonds. Some of them are your twin flame. The angels say that they can feel and sense the intense emotions that they have for you. And then the next is the three of diamonds, jack of hearts. You ain't faking. You got the king of diamonds, ten of clubs, and five of spades. You are the road that leads me home. Eight of diamonds. So, let's see. So you have, you lessen the distance here. The angels say that some of you are still um, focusing on your person. Even though there's risk there, like they belong to someone else but you're still messaging them coming towards them to meet them that could be for some and it could this card could resonate for you if you're doing it and i'm sensing like they appreciate it but sometimes they have to reject especially if they they are with someone else and some of them they don't have any relationship they're just focused on their work, but you're still there for them no matter what, even if they're ignoring you. And then the next is, is there any way I can stay and together with this? So the angels say that the person that you're dealing with, um, remember how intense the emotion is, especially for twin flames. And this person wants you to know that despite of them being busy with their career, with your life, they still want you. They still love you. And some of them has family issues and they really want to be with you. But right now, they don't know how. That's why they ask you this. Is there any way I can stay? And some of them really need help, but they are denying to come to you. The fact that they don't want you to get involved with the conflicts, with the fight, or anything that is negative. And some of them are healing their broken heart, the angels told me. 
And I'm sensing like it has a connection with release your ex. Could be this person just release their emotions or detachment with their um, ex, okay? Um, just got out of a relationship, the angels say. That could be the case. Just say what resonates, guys. Now, you have your name or sound in my head together with these cards. The angels say that this person really loves you. But the problem is that some of them are married already and it's bringing them tears. Married to someone else could be with another person. I'm sensing like they could have kids with that person. So the angels say that they remember you because they love you so much that they can't even resist. And then the next is you ain't faking together with this card so i'm sensing like you guys surrender your heart to this person but the problem is that this person could be dealing with a lot of things and as you can see some of them are married and still loving their kids and family and they want to tell you that they can't offer you anything and it's burdening them not to offer you anything they feel guilty actually and they know to themselves like they need to do something um, in order to come back to you. But some of them knows that you have feelings and they don't want to hurt you. But the angels say to keep it balanced and simple. Some of them will come to you and tell you what you need, what you need to hear. Even though it's bad, it's hurting, but you have they have to do it. It's what I'm sensing with these cards. And right now my nose is itchy, like I want to cry because they some of them gave you false hopes. Um and the angels say that this person love wants you to know that they don't mean to hurt you. Like if that's a case scenario. If they're choosing their husband or wife over you. And the angels say that it is because this person is somebody who is grounded, somebody who, who meditated or listened to their guides. As you can see here, you have double Buddha here. Um, some of them sense like you love them so much, but they can't give it to you now since they have a lot of burdens. And they're trying to fix their life. They trying to fix or ground themselves first with their career with their problems they're trying to solve it before coming to you because they know this much is real the angels say i know you didn't receive that cards but um that's what i'm sense as well so you are the road that leads me home together with this card the angels say that right now they're focusing with their finances or career or fixing their life but um i'm sensing like it has to do with less than the distance now if you're still um messaging or doing the effort they know about it um that you are somebody who's still there for them and it's just they're just busy i hope you understand the angels say someday they will come to you once they are ready and now let's see what are the advices that the angels wants you to do pile number one so angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know what are your advice for those who chose pile number one the angels say remember that god loves you a lot and you have love yourself first see um you need to focus on your craft first and this person will be back to you once this person is ready to be with you and they say that this person will admire you more if you don't cling too much to them and you're focusing on yourself as well as they are focusing on with their life fixing themselves too one more card they requested so they want to give you more you got the flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others so what i sense here is focus on the words like 
um, instead of focusing to your person, focus on helping others as well. That's what I'm getting with that. And reconciliation. So, what I'm sensing here is that this person will come back to you once they are prepared because someone from your past is returning to your life. So, it means like you guys will be in union someday if you just let this person love him or herself first because this person is fixing their life. And the angels say that if you guys won't end up being together, um, like they chose uh, their family or their wife or husband to be, please understand. They will come to you and tell you the truth. So you, they won't let you hang, hanging. It's only for a few cases. So is there anything else? Okay, they said no. So the next advice is perfect timing. So why is it perfect timing and then they're not yet ready so guys this is basically about the time divine timing okay the divine timing is a perfect timing and it is not basically based on our time here on earth now even if you're watching weekly my weekly videos it doesn't mean that it will happen within this week that could mean that it could happen in the near future we just basically giving you an idea what's going on to your person but the union is basically based on preparation guys if you are healed already if it's your time now to do it then it will okay um because if you guys got reunited again and you guys are not prepared you might mess things out that's why everything comes in divine timing and the perfect timing is always the heaven's timing remember that and the angels say um have patience relax and focus on your work in your healing work or in your career or whatsoever and let the universe do its play and remember don't pray for an outcome the angels say because it might be against the divine timing itself okay now let's see what are the advices from archangel gabriel it's archangel gabriel who arranged the piles for us that's why we have his cards motivation pray for guidance as how to increase your enthusiasm for and focus on this project so this tells me that you have to wait okay and you need to focus on your craft and be motivated i'm sensing like some of you guys are in low vibration because you're waiting for your person and nothing is happening um that's why they ask you to do your craft do your thing first love yourself first before anything else or think about this person because it will really bring you down okay and it might affect your person especially if this person is your twin flame because you guys share the same emotions so please remember have that motivation back and remember that you're fixing yourself and loving yourself for your person too the angels say and by that way you will be reunited as one once you are ready and prepared and right now separation needs to happen and you have to wait you have to focus of what else you need to do while you're in separation perfectionism so polishing your creative project is fine but don't allow perfectionistic fear to result in procrastination so you guys it might delay if you keep on thinking about your person like this person has to come to me i keep on messaging blah 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 please stop be at peace as i sense with the white here because if you keep on thinking something um positive but it's kind of irritating that you expect too much um, the angels say, better relax a bit, okay? Everything will come to fruition if you are at peace, okay? And you're focusing on yourself too. 
love of attraction. Keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people and situations, and you will attract more positivity into your life. So I'm sensing like some of you guys are being um, instructed by your other friends, but these friends might be the one who's procrastinating or delaying about the union so please be careful of whom you talk to and if you know to yourself that those people cannot be trusted better stay on your own like don't let them control the situation that's what i have here and remember to keep being positive and optimistic about your love life, think positive things and not negativity, and you will attract um, positivity into your life. That's what I get with this reading or with this card I'm sensing. And then the next is the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. So basically guys, what I get with this card is that you need to be surrender, surrender surrendering this connection to the universe, what I'm getting and being at peace to yourself that this person will come. Don't be angry if they didn't message you back or you think like they didn't care for you anymore. I'm sensing like your person loves you and I don't sense any anger issues. Some of them just feel guilty of not messaging you back or doing the effort. But please understand, step in their shoes of what's going on with them. That's why you're here. And it's really no joke. Okay? And what you can do now is focus on yourself, loving yourself first and do your healing work of whatever it is okay so is there anything else angels they said no more so thank you for watching pal number one and sending you peace love and light bye hello guys for those who chose pal number two which is the death card the angel of transformation here is your reading let's see what's going on with your person pal number two So, here are the overall theme you got here and now, and also come to the edge. The angels told me that it's gonna be an intense week for you guys and your lover, but the angels say it has to happen so you will meet the love of your life. And let's see, let's do an energy check about your person. So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know um, how does a person of pile number two see about the connection and how does they feel with regards to those who chose pile number two. So, what is it? So, you have first waiting for in a Prito reverse according to them what else you have this could be the one reverse or upright okay reverse or upright seems like this person is not sure of what he or she wants should i need to pull more they said no need hmm Probably they have someone else in their life or you're the other option, could be, but let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know, oops, so we may know what's going on, wait, so we may know what's going on with a person of pal number two. Commencing January 14 up to January 20, 2019. The angels say it's gonna be an intense week for you about the love life. So basically, base yourself, focus on your own and not with this love life because you need to transform as well like your person. Because this person right now is dealing with a lot of losses in his or her life. And there's a lot of people 
that this person has been dealing with. Some of them are player types. Some of them are just here to play games with you. So please be watchful. The angels say if you sense that this is your person doing that to you, then better leave. So what's, what's going on? The king of scrolls. Upright, they say. And then birth. And they said reverse. Okay, they said it's in reverse. So what else? So you got the garden in upright position. They told me what else? What else, please? So you got the autumn. Upright or reverse, according to the angels. So overall energy that's affecting the reading is the queen of keys. Either upright or reverse, according to the angels. So what is the overall outcome for this reading? You got the Uriel and the Sphinx in upright. Should I need to pull more? They said no need. So you have only one outcome, guys. Now let's clarify the cards presented here. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know what's going on with a person of pile number two commencing january 14 up to january 20 2019 so let's see the king of scrolls please clarify the king of scrolls you got the ace of wands upright or reverse they told me first card in reverse you got the judgment Upright position, they told me. King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. In upright or reverse for this. Um, five of Roses, the Garden, clarify. So you got the Eight of Swords. In reverse position, they say. Four of Forces, you got the Ten of Wands. In upright or reverse, according to them. The Queen of Keys. You got the four of swords, Ezra upright or reverse, Oriel and the Sphinx. You have the four of pentacles in upright position, they say. So let's see what's going on with your person, pile number two. So you have the queen of keys, either upright or reverse, as your overall energy that's affecting the whole reading. And the angels say this person is taking a time with you and a current partner situation is what I'm getting. Like there's another person involved is what I get when while holding these cards. And actually they don't know whom to choose because this person um, is uh, um, dealing with someone or in a relationship with you and they're still looking for some somewhere and some of them will just stay focused on you um they're still thinking about it okay that's why you have this sometimes they think about it sometimes not they're done thinking so just take what resonates because i'm sensing like this person is not that grounded like he or she doesn't know what they truly want in terms of love life and career even could be so the king of scrolls now clarified by these cards so i'm sensing like they want a new beginning with someone else or with you they don't know that's why it's either in reverse or upright like they're only up for passionate desires and they don't really they don't hold anyone with their heart Look at this person, he is guarding it, and this could be a person that's hiding their emotions to you. And the truth is, they don't really know what they want. They can decide, that's why you have a lot of cards that is either upright or reverse. And then the next is this. And the angels say that this person is not focusing on the heart, just focusing on um having love life without even judging first because i'm sensing like the person that you're dealing with they have a lot 
of things in life, they are stable with their career. The only problem is about offering something, offering their love. This could be upright or reverse because they don't really know. And this is a person who's not committed at all. And a lot of people admire your person because they are rich. Um, that's what I'm sensing. So you got the garden together with this. And the angels say some of you guys are not really aware that this person has someone else. They told me that. And since you're not aware, they will tell you someday that they didn't choose you. You will just be shocked like they will pick someone else. Um, that's what's going on. And then you have either spring or autumn. Now this person, since they can decide whom to choose in their love life, it's burdening them. Okay, and they want to release that burden by choosing either the autumn or the spring. This could be different girls or boys in their mind. Um, this person don't know how to settle. Okay, and they're not really focused on... They're not focusing on love itself, like they're kind of player. And then this one is... Oriel and the Sphinx and clarified by this card. So what what we have here is that this person is holding on to his or her heart. Like if they will be in a relationship, they will not give the whole of it. It will just be a play. Like um I'm sensing like some of them have been tricked before, like somebody use them for their finances because I told you earlier this person is somebody who is stable in terms of career they have everything and the only missing is the love life so I'm sensing like some of them have been tricked in the past that's why they don't take love life relationship really serious and this person needs to heal okay so let's see about the energy so your person is thinking if you are the one or not because this could either be in reverse or upright and worth waiting for so the angels say they're still waiting for you to come to them and the angels say rather not to come at all okay rather not this person is a player And then you have these cards as the overall theme. Now the angels say that um, this is basically about you. You need to let go of your person because you need somebody who is stable in terms of their heart chakra. This person is not healed. This person needs to heal the past wounds and hurt so that he or she can open up his or her heart chakra because it's very close even if you see in this image it's open there's still blockage there it's not unlocked fully and this person doesn't know how to love at all holding on to the heart and the person that you're dealing with needs to transform it needs to recover from whatever heartache that they have in the past so that they can open up their heart again because they don't give their heart fully to anyone else and if you see this person with someone else then it's just a play this person do not give wholeheartedly their heart to someone now let's see what are the messages for you. Pile number two from your person. So here are their messages for you. You have loneliness starts to call. I'm not made for you. I am weak. I don't need you. So I'm sorry this reading is very negative but you have to know the truth rather than not. Okay, we don't sugarcoat things here. And I am being guided to do weekly readings by the angels. You know, it's very hard for me. Why? I graduated. 
with two diplomas but I end up doing this as my job because the angels wants me to do it and I am here to provide guidance for you guys now if you're thinking I'm doing this just for the sake of money whatsoever yes because this is my job but I did it I release the su supposedly my career because I am guided to do this so if you think I am a faker whatsoever don't think please that way I don't sugarcoat things I am here to tell the truth nothing but the truth and I don't sugarcoat things loneliness starts to call you have queen of clubs five of diamonds and also seven of clubs i'm not made for you clarify you got queen of diamonds and also jack of hearts i am weak you have five of clubs i don't need you and then ten of diamonds so what you have here is that this person loneliness starts to call they're not committed to anyone as you can see it's in reverse and in this deck this is my commitment card by the way and I'm sensing like they have a lot of people involved for some and they don't really know which to choose and the angels say that if ever they end up in a relationship they're not really serious about it they will let go of this and to someone else and you don't deserve this kind of person they told me I am not made for you together with this and for some of you guys who love deeply this person and it's hurting them to see you love them so much because they know to themselves um, they might choose you but they will not give their whole heart to you that's what I get with that I am weak together with this five of clubs some of them have addictions with you know um addictions of being a player type energy i'm sensing with this like they don't commit to anyone else and they are just having relationships just a show or just to satisfy their ego and they are weak for not transforming for not um, healing their past wounds and hurt, they say. And then, I don't need you together with Ten of Diamonds. So what we have here is that um, this person really um, thinks that he has everything or she has everything together with finances. I'm basing it with finances, not relationship, because the angels say... This person is not really committed to anyone at all. Okay? So this person don't even think about family. Just thinking about finances, stability, that's it. Okay? That's what I sense with this, with this card. Now, I don't base it with the context. I base it on my intuition and what the angels will tell me. And then, let's see what are the advices the angels has for you. Pal number two. So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know what are your advice for those who chose pile number two. The angels say, don't worry too much about your love life. The right person will come to you, running to you. So, you have honeymoon. So, what I'm sensing here is that you need to run away from this person. And because um, the angels say there's someone else better for you. Pile number two. One more card. They request. There. The card is flying. Past life relationships. So what we have here is that this will be a thing of your past. The angels say. And you need to heal from whatever it is that conspire between you guys. And this person is not meant for you. You need to run away from it. You need to live in the present and not in the past. Since this is your thing of the past, let go already. This person is not meant to be with you. And if you really love this person, this person needs 
transformation. Okay, and it will take a very long time for this person to transform for you. So please don't abuse. I don't sense any connection with twins here. They say because there's no attraction. Because if you guys are twins, this is your karmic. Okay, this is your karmic just here to teach you something. Not everyone will have that love life that they love. Or they wanted. I'm sensing like you admire this person because this person stands in their power in terms of career finances. Some of them are handsome or beautiful. But the angels say it's deceit. Love someone because of their attitude. And their attitude when it comes to love is not really good. They're players. You don't deserve a player type. Right? So should I need to pull more? Now, okay. So, the next for you is a no and a year from now. So, this person is not really made for you. There's someone else better that is made just for you. The angels told me don't base it on a year from now. Because, you know, our schedule on earth is different on divine timing. Divine timing is based if we are read ready okay if we heal from our past wounds and hurt from the past of this person from attachments any negativity once we are ready then it is the time that we will meet our love of our life so please don't base it here some people question me about these messages okay sometimes it didn't tell something like that okay and then, you have these cards from Archangel Gabriel. It's Archangel Gabriel who arranged the pals for us for this week. So you have happy news. Your prayer is answered in a creative way. So what's a happy news if this person is um, not, not a good person for you? So what I'm sensing here is uh, that... Once you let go of this person, once you heal, you will find the love of your life. And don't base it with a year from now. You will find this person if you are ready. That is truly meant for you. And you have to learn something from this person, the lesson that you need to learn. And the angels say they will give you someone who deserves your love. Better than this person. This is your karmic, not a twin flame, the angels say. So allow yourself to receive. Open your arms to welcome the blessings and answer prayers that God is sending you. I'm sensing like you guys, even if love life is not that great for you, you have been given a lot like blessings, like your career or helpful friends and family members even so appreciate what you have and be happy about it okay right now you need to focus on your own on your healing work and not in love life because i'm sensing like this week is not that great for love life only if you will have that reunion together but i'm sensing like someday you will have you will marry somebody better than this person. I don't see anyone marrying this as the same person as I'm sensing. Okay? And you need to be at peace. I'm sensing the white as peace. Um, please be at peace with this person. Okay? And think that it has to happen because there's something better. And that's a happy news for you. But number two. Now, I'm sensing like some will say, why are you gonna be happy with this? So, you need to be happy because you know the truth and you have to get rid of something that doesn't serve you. And this reading is teaching you to do that. If you see that um, this relationship is not worth it anymore, you receive signs, then accept, acknowledge. Because there are a lot of blessings out there and you didn't see. You always focus yourself, your life in this person which is not really giving you anything at all. So, you deserve love, you deserve someone else you, okay? 
I'm sorry about that, guys. So, anyway, this is your next card. No, my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Now, the angels say that you're being advised to grow from this experience with this person. And you deserve love you deserve someone better than this person someone who is stable with their love life not only with money not only with career but has that love for you because this person is not okay now please heal um heal this relationship forgive your person don't send any negative vibes because it might come to you as karma, okay? And the angels say before you step into a new lover, better heal yourself first. Don't carry any baggages of negativity from this relationship because it might affect your next person. And make sure that you learn from your mistakes as well. And the angels say love yourself first. Is there anything else? They said no more. So thank you for watching and sending you guys peace, love, and light. Bye.